OK. There's a few out there that are executive chefs, right? OK, good. There was one that I seem to remember you with the glasses. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, chef. What do you do for a living? I'm a mom, um, but I'm a cookbook author. Ever worked in a restaurant? No, chef. OK, let's start from the bottom. Bring your dish. Oh, jeez. Apart from it looking like baby vomit, what is that? It's a veal scallopini. Oh, God. Listen to me. That dish was delicious. Thank you, chef. I mean, I'm shocked. It may look slightly dull and boring, a little bit like you, but well done. <laughs> Don't look so nervous. You're scary. OK, let me give you a hug. Up there. Right, relax. Relax, relax, relax. That is not his style. He doesn't just hug people. He's not the type of person. He's not personable at all. What a great start. If that's the sign of things to come, well done. Thank you. God, it was good. I wanted to be first. <laughs> Chef Ramsay, you're a little slutty. I was just so stunned. Chef Ramsay really did like that dish. That was fucking amazing. <laughs> Listen to me. Before I go any further, this person is not who you think she is. This person is... Oh, no. My wife, Tana. Huh? Take that off. Thank God it's his wife. He just, like, licked their teeth. Job well done. What a filthy bastard. This is Van. From where? Dallas, Texas. I think sometimes people underestimate me because I'm just tatted up country boy from Texas. Right, off you go. But I'm a beer drinker with a sophisticated palate. <laughs> right, Van. That looks interesting. What is it? It's, a. Uh... Seared foie gras with minted caramel. It's very neat. Oh, it's looking grim for us. But if the other guy's dish sucks, there's still hope. There's something quite intriguing about that. The mint cuts down the richness of the foie gras. Congratulations, men. Well done. Woo OK, young man, could you just take your glasses off for one minute? How old are you? 28. Stop. Harry Potter looks older. <laughs> Jesus, are you on a diet? It's enough. It's enough? It's enough. For yeah. you or me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so what's the dish? pan your pigeon, chef. With a uh, sweet potato puree and uh, California fig and balsamic production. You've cooked the squab beautifully. Puree is just absolutely sublime. Congratulations, four. Thank you, chef. Next two, please. Up next, it's culinary instructor Benjamin against banquet chef Holly. Right, what is it? The lobster agnolotti with a butter poached lobster and truffle sauce. And the pasta was from scratch? The pasta was fresh, chef. Salvatore. Do you hear that? OK. Benjamin, that's absolutely delicious. Thank you, chef. Great dish. Um, right, first name is? Amanda. What's the dish? This is uh, eggplant rollantini with creamy polenta. This is seasoned perfectly. Thank you, chef. There's talent there. Thank Definitely. you, chef. Good job. Boy, that's fucking high praise coming from him. I'm on cloud nine right now. Executive chefs Janelle from Houston and Ray from Boston. This is? Chef, I have for you Thai grilled prawns with a spicy Asian pesto. Just two of them? Are we on a budget? <laughs> Just asking, are we on a diet? We are not on a diet. No? So is it an appetizer, or a entree, or where, where are we going with this? Let's go appetizer. Appetizer. Smart. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. The sort of sour, sweetie heat that you've got in that cappellini, uh, nailed. Thank you. Good job. Really good job. Uh, Ray, top competition. Uh, right, how old are you? 51. You are the oldest chef we've had on House Kitchen, let me tell you. Uh, right, what is that? 
What's in that? A uh, stuffed veal cutlet with prosciutto and gruyere cheese topped with a piece of homemade ricotta. Wow, right. It's cooked to perfection. Wow, wow, wow. And let me tell you something. The competition has just gone up a level. Yeah? It's a tough one. It's very tough. Um, the point goes to both of you. Well done. Very really well done. Uh, right, first name is? Paul. Paul, what's the dish? It's an eggplant in Voltini with crab and mascarpone and ricotta. It's actually quite nice. Thanks, Chef. You're an actual cook. Congratulations to the gents. Good job. Thanks, right. Chef. Uh, ladies first. So, first name is? Tech. Right, Tech. This is chipotle honey grilled shrimp. And how long have you been cooking? Um, about 10 years, except I'm unemployed at the moment. I'm not coming in with a career to go back to. Like, I need this job. I got a family to support. I got to fucking win this. That's nice. Thank you. And prawns are cooked beautifully. I'm patting myself on the back. <laughs> so, first name is? Jim. Jim. Yes. Do me a favor. I'm not intimidated by anybody. Take your coat off. OK. All right, I'm a little intimidated by Chef Ramsay. This is a uh, seared ahi tuna with a soy ginger vinaigrette. It tastes delicious. Good. Congratulations, man. It's now up to country club chef Ariel to give Chef Ramsay a present of her own. This is shashushka. Shashushka. It's a Middle Eastern dish, being half black and half Jewish. The shushushka definitely represents who I am. So for me, this is literally like my heart and soul on a plate. It's a comfort dish that oozes quality. Um, three, well done, good job. The men are now clinging to a tiny lead. The boys are back in town. Whose is this? It's mine, chef. OK, come forward, madam, please. And how did you cook the halibut? Uh, I pan seared it, and then I put it in the oven just for a little bit. Thank you. That's the tastiest thing I've had all day. Thank you, chef. Seasoned beautifully, light, fragrant. That was delicious. Thank you. The best dish by a mile so far. Chef Ramsay said I had the best dish. Hoping to put the red team back on top with her rainbow trout is an executive chef from Virginia, Megan. This is stunning. Thank you. Definitely uh, a five for five. Good job. Next. Whose is this? Uh, it's my chef. Yep, step forward. What is it? It's a um, miso sake marinated Chilean sea bass. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been cooking? Uh, about four years, chef. I've been cooking for my family also, chef. My father has lived in the restaurant industry, and he had no time for his children. I want to show my dad what I can do in the kitchen. Yeah. On tasting that, it looks like you've been cooking for 15 years. Cooked perfectly. Thank you, chef. Thank you. And where did you start cooking? Uh, in my father's kitchen, chef. Have you cooked in that dish? No, I have not, chef. You should. Thank you, chef. 